ALCS game one, the Tigers and the Yankees. Andy Pettit on the hill for New York, opposed by Detroit's Doug Fister. Bottom one, Alex Rodriguez back in the lineup and back in the spotlight. Bases loaded, two men away, facing Doug Fister. A-Rod, the hard ground ball. Johnny Peralta, the great stop. He fires to second, and that forces Raul Abanez. Great play by Peralta. A-Rod can't believe it. As you check out the replay, Abanez is correctly called out. Yankees threaten but do not score. That takes his bottom two. Yanks have him loaded again for Robinson Cano. He rips one back to Fister. It goes off his wrist. Peralta again. Another great play. Cano can't believe it. He is called out. A very close play here. You be the judge. Fister shakes off the shot to the wrist and fortunately able to stay in the game. That takes his top six. The Tigers have runners on the corners just one man away. And Prince Fielder comes through. He breaks the scoreless deadlock with the ribby single to center. That scores Austin Jackson. And the Tigers have a 1-0 lead. Next batter for Detroit is Delman Young as he sends this one the opposite way into shallow right. Nick Swisher charging hard, but the ball drops in front of him. Miguel Cabrera got a great read on the play. He scores from second, and the Tigers have a 2-0 lead. Bottom six now, it's yet another big spot for A-Rod. Yanks have second and third, nobody down, but again, Rodriguez can't get it done. Fister strikes him out on three pitches. But after Fister walked Nick Swisher, it's Curtis Granderson at the plate. Bases loaded, but the Grandy man also goes down on three pitches. The next Yankee hitter is Russell Martin. A one-two pitch. Swing and a miss. He got him on strikes. Another breaking ball. WXYT on the call. First time in Yankees postseason history, they've left the bases loaded three times in one game. That takes his top eight, still a 2-0 game. Delman Young steps in against Derek Lowe, and Young, the line shot to left field, a solo homer for Young. The Tigers have a 3-0 lead. It is Young's sixth postseason home run. That's a new Tigers franchise record. They'd add one more in the frame to take a 4-0 edge. That takes us to the bottom of the ninth. Jose Valverde trying to close it out, but facing Ichiro with one on and one away, and Ichiro sends it deep to right and gone the two-run shot. The Yankees have life. They trail just 4-2. Later on in the inning, it's one on and two down for who else? Raul Abanez. Strike one pitch. Swinging a high fly ball right field deep. Going back, Garcia at the fence. It's gone. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Raul Ibanez has done it again. Unreal. We're tied at four. WXYT on the call. Ibanez, the first player in postseason history with three home runs in the ninth inning or later in a single postseason. It remains 4-4 into the top of the 12th. It's a man at second for Delman Young facing David Phelps. Here's the 2-0. Swinging a line drive right field, and that one is going to be past the right fielder. Swisher all the way to the wall. Cabrera around third. He will score. Young heads into second. RBI double, and the Tigers take a 5-4 lead in the 12th. WXYT once again on the call. Later on in the inning, it's Johnny Peralta at the plate. The ground ball to short, Derek Jeter to his left. He goes down hard, and the captain is not getting up. The Yankees and their fans collectively holding their breath. The official diagnosis, a fractured left ankle for the captain. He is out for the remainder of the postseason. Next batter for the Tigers is Andy Dirks. He hits one back to Phelps. He tries to barehand it, but to no avail. That scores pinch runner Don Kelly to give the Tigers a 6-4 lead. Drew Smiley worked a perfect bottom of the 12th to preserve that 6-4 victory in 12 innings for the Tigers in game one of the ALCS. Jeter goes one for five on the night with two strikeouts, but his one hit made him the only player in postseason history to reach the 200-hit plateau.